The People's Temple was a Christian religious group founded by Jim Jones. Hailed a religious leader during parts of his life, Jim Jones was frustrated at the way America treated open communism, discriminated against minority communities, and even received a Martin Luther King Jr. Award and was appointed Director of Human Rights Commissions for his work and challenge of American culture. Ironic, then, that only 18 years later, he would encourage almost 1,000 followers of the very same group to kill themselves with some dignity. We didn't commit suicide. We committed an act of revolutionary suicide protesting the conditions of an inhumane world. Of the 1,000 victims, over 300 were children. They were fed deadly cyanide by parents and told that they could lie down to, de to die together, as even evidence that resistance was met with force feeding or gunfire. The word cult evokes an image in popular culture of shady groups operating separately to religious bodies but with motives and religious interests. Semantically, the word religion and the word cult are vastly different despite logically being relatively similar. Just a quick search on Google Images can show us as close to an objective look at the semantics as is feasible. Often in popular culture, the words cult and sect are used interchangeably, but contrasting definitions of both have been offered by many a sociologist. A religious topology offered by Trolsch and discussed by Campbell says that cults are non-traditional religious groups that are based upon a divine element within the individual, as opposed to more traditional religious groups that focus on religious acts and lifestyles, such as Protestantism. Dawson suggests that cults, unlike sects, do not advocate a return to pure religion, but instead embrace a new religious element, either completely fresh or considered lost. A good example of a lost element, brought back to front form by a cult, would be the Order of the Solar Temple, which bases its ideals on the, on the ideals of the Knight Templar, the Crusades. Like many other famous cults, the Solar Temple was brought largely to an end by a series of suicides in connection with the murder of an infant child whom the leader considered the Antichrist. Hard bodies of 16 people, including three children, were found today in a remote region of the French Alps. They're all believed to be members of the Solar Temple cult. It's the second time in 14 months that members of the cult have perished. 53 members died in apparent murder-suicides in Switzerland and Quebec in October of last year. The CBC's Mimi Tompkins reports. A French police helicopter spotted the charred bodies in a forest near Grenoble early this morning. 500 officers were involved in the manhunt. It began on Friday when cars were found in the forest belonging to cult members. The 16 burned bodies were discovered this morning a couple of kilometers from the parking lot. Other scholars have suggested that cults contain a negative connotation and that the term new religious movement should instead be used to describe these groups as the term cult contains negative connotations that may only serve to ostracize what societies make no effort to understand beyond a tragedy. We've spoken briefly about the People's Temple, more commonly referred to as Jonestown, but I will now go into more detail before discussing the Branch Davidians and compare the two different groups. After much interest in Marxist ideas at an earlier age and observation of religious rituals, Jim Jones created his own communal living arrangements with members of his church called the People's Temple. The temple demanded a lot from its members, including financial support, but as a supporter of racial integrationist values and practices, not to mention the religious pressure, it's no wonder the interracial mission became communal arrangements and eventually the founding of a whole community in South America. It's important, I think, for me to talk about how they were just like anybody else. Um, that they came from every background imaginable. I think it's important to point that out. I wanted to describe for you what drew people in, that sense of belonging, that connection with spirit. And one of the things I relished was coming up and over that hill and just seeing every walk of life just milling about and just the color and the, and the, the humanity of it just, just warmed my heart. The social justice and inclusion wasn't to last freely forever. After defectors presented evidence that human rights violations were taking place in Jonestown, government bodies were prompted to take action. In 1978, November, Leo Ryan, a congressman, visited Jonestown to investigate these claims. Jim Jones welcomed the party, but Ryan was attacked with a knife by a temple member. Ryan left along with 15 members that had expressed that they wanted to leave. But once they reached the airport, they were attacked by Jonestown's private death squad, referred to as the Red Card. It was later that same day that Jim Jones preached for the final time that the world was not ready for their message yet. The governments would shortly parachute in and torture all the members of Jonestown. 
that the revolutionary suicide was the only answer. Members were given a sugary drink laced with cyanide, and defectors were forced to consume it, if they did not do so of their own accord. One way in which we can categorise the People's Temple is back to Campbell's religious cult topography, though it's not an easy fit. When Jim Jim started, it was a service-oriented cult, a clear mission of social justice backed with the charisma and the notion of religious righteousness. However, the movement to a private commune separated Jones from the rest of society's judging eyes, and so only the members of the commune surrounded remained. This perhaps indicates a move to, into an instrumentally organ orientated cult, as members live together in relative harmony, even if the rest of the world remained unconvinced. An alternative categorization would be Walder's approach to how cults respond to the world around them. The People's Temple would fit firmly into the world-rejecting group, as not only did they reject the hegemonic racism rampant in America at the time, but Jones preached of salvation of a socialist lifestyle that arguably became a far stronger notion than the religion that supported it. Believe in me, I will cause the kingdoms of this racist society to become the kingdoms of socialistic freedom. I will cause your desert to blossom as a rose. His driving force was less the Bible than social justice. He was very much ahead of the current climate in terms of race relations and his desire to create an integrated society. Further evidence of the world-rejecting nature of the People's Temple would be the physical move away from America into Southern America, where they were away from the prying and disapproving gaze of capitalist America. Jones had even discussed a move into Russia, where the commune's differences could be more accepted, but by the time progress was made, the attack on the airport had taken place, and Jonestown's time was limited. Davidian Seventh-day Adventists were a group founded on the belief of an upcoming apocalypse. After this didn't happen, and many lost faith, a splinter group known as Branch Davidians was formed by Ben Roden. After he died, his wife, Lois Roden, had an affair with a man called Vernon Howe, later known as David Koresh. They had wanted a child that could be known as the Prophet. After the death of the prophetess, Lois Roden, and a brief power struggle between her lover Vernon and her son, Vernon overtook the cult and changed his name to David Koresh, a reference to the biblical King David. Like the People's Temple, the Koreshians were also a world-rejecting cult. David Koresh, previously Vernon, believed that once they passed from this world into the next, the rulers of the new world would be his children, which he bore with spiritual wives, which were also from the commune, and he believed his divine connection is what gave him this right. I know where I came from. I come from God. I didn't come from monkey. I came from God through Adam through a long lineage of man. Did Jesus look like the Son of God? No one thought so, except a few people in his day. However, it was on the grounds of child abuse which his commune on Mount Carmel was raided, and after months of gunfire and a tear gas attack, the compound was set on fire and David Koresh and the Koreshians were no more. Despite being a world-rejecting cult like the People's Temple, the Koreshians believed in the mystical power of individuals, which is what allowed David Koresh to claim himself the final prophet before the prophesied end of the world. By Campbell's definition, this would make them a myth mystically orientated cult. The issues of taking a reductionist approach to religious movements in this way becomes more and more apparent the more groups that we start to look at. Although we can fit both Koreshians and the People's Temple into Wallace's groups, Campbell's topography is far more difficult to categorize the People's Temple into because of its complexity and changes over time. It becomes even more difficult once we introduce groups based on radically different religions than Christianity, as pointed out by Saliba. One such example of this would be the Japanese cult Am Shinriku, whose beliefs were linked to the goddess Shiva and other forms of Hinduism and Buddhism. However, observing patterns can help us better understand groups like these, and many scholars have pointed out that a feature of many cults is strong charismatic leadership. Jim Jones, David Koresh, Shoko Asahara, Joseph DiMambro, to name a few. And observing patterns in such groups and comparing them can we better understand its social and global implications. This has been my presentation on New World Religions. Thank you for watching.